Hello. <clears throat> well, today um, I want to talk about uh, one of my favorite, or actually, if it is my favorite, um, Christmas uh, film, as well as just in, uh, also the series that comes with it, because um, not really my favorite Christmas series exactly. Um, <clears throat> And that is Home Alone. Um, now, I enjoy the first two films of the, uh, the series. I saw the third one as a kid. Um, I believe I liked it a bit more, but as time went on, um, yeah. But this movie, I just truly love. I really enjoy it. I think it's an, an incredible movie, you know. You know, family's gonna go, you know, get on a plane and go somewhere for Christmas, and they have pretty much their entire family over, and as that's going on, one of them, you know, Kevin, he, uh, with everybody being there, there's so much stuff going on, and he causes problems because, you know, he's like one of the youngest people there, and everyone seems to just have it out for him, and with the family... You can understand why he is the way he is. You know, it's because of how they are all acting. He acts the way he does. Does that exactly excuse him? No. But at the end of the film, by, you know, by the end, you know, first he thinks he made his family disappear because he's like, I don't want to see anyone ever again. And he goes up in the attic because all the rooms have to be used and he didn't want to sleep with one cousin who wets the bed. And because of that, you know... Uh, they all get up, they all leave, He it's counted where everyone's there, because some kid across the street, he's like, oh, I'm going here and there, and he, shuts, he doesn't shut up, and he's going, digging through everyone's stuff, before they all take these vans to the airport, and then as that's going on, he, uh, uh, you know, Kevin is home alone. He's left there, and uh, these two, the wet bandits, you know, Marv and Harry, uh, they're going around the neighborhood, and uh, <clears throat> they're just uh, stealing, stealing while everyone's out of town. You know, Joe Pesci was, was like probably the first film I ever saw Joe Pesci in, getting older and seeing him in like, like the Scorsese films and other films and characters he played quite a departure and yet at the same time uh, <laughs> not too far it's just he doesn't swear or kill anybody really um, however as the film goes on he does want to kill Kevin because he wants to steal their stuff and he's protecting the house and is making it difficult uh, for them to steal and um, he even in the very beginning acts as a security or somebody from like a cop or an officer going in to making sure all the houses are fine and pretty much essentially getting information when these people are leaving, how long, so they know what to do and yeah, just be able to steal with no problem. Um, number two, you know, it's the first movie they went to Florida, the family went to Florida, the second one going to France, but. He takes the wrong plane and is um, gets ends up in New York. Many people say it's exactly the first film, just done in New York and everything. And I can see where that ha where you know people come to that conclusion, but I still find it enjoyable, even if the plot in many ways is not as simple as it was in the first film. You know, they did expand it in the. He's in New York, and he, there's certain places they can go to and uh, try and, you know, um, have fun with Kevin in these scenarios and use certain things as objects for traps. And, um, yeah, and number three, you know, as a new kid, because by this point, Macaulay Culkin was, like, in his teens, so, yeah, um, 97, yeah, yeah, I believe he was 17, or so, he was like 17, yeah, and, uh, 
this film was, eh, as a kid, I thought it was a lot better. Yeah, but I think the, the big thing is obviously like you don't have Macaulay Culkin, you don't have uh, Kevin McAllister or any of the McAllisters. It's a completely new story, and um, and understandable. You that's why you know these people are and there's this whole thing with uh, just computer chips and crooks and military stuff and. It's a huge, odd uh, plot if you really think about it. It's fairly, it's fairly odd, but or just very interesting and a lot of very different than um, what the first two had. Uh, it's like a more elaborate plot if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and um, number four is Return of the McAllisters, and yeah, it's just like, what? I saw this years ago on TV, and I, it wasn't very good. Um, I haven't watched it in a long time, so I can't recall exactly uh, what it all contains, it's just, except that I remember I didn't like it, but... I did uh, love the first two films, and while I'm not a huge fan of this film, uh, Home Alone 3, you know, it was entertaining, I guess, in a ways, even with the convoluted plot, and, like, uh, okay, at least in the first two films, there's a sort of realism of the kid being home alone, or the kid being, you know, going to, uh, on another plane when they all get there, and he accidentally gets on a plane to New York, The fourth film is just like, you know, ignoring the first two, even though we're bringing back McAllister's, it's just, it was just so, it was weird and odd. Uh, it was, from what I recall, uh, granted, I'm not really talking a whole lot about um, the movies, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to give a rundown on the series of my experiences with them. But this film, I just really loved yeah, it was such an entertaining movie that I always watch at Christmas, around Christmas time. I always have. It's just the film that I grew up with. Um, it's a movie that I always enjoy watching. That is a hilarious film. It's just a movie that's it's it's really fun. It's um, it's a it's it's a, it's a very fun movie. It's a very um. It also at the end has a message of appreciating family, which uh, he does at the end of the film. Um, it's written and produced by John Hughes too, um, uh, but it's directed. The this one's directed by Christopher Columbus. Was the second one too? Yes, it was. Both were written and produced by uh, John Hughes. He also did. John Hughes also wrote and produced the third film also. But he had no involvement from what I can see here with the fourth film, and um, not surprising. Um, there was a fifth film, but I've never seen that. Uh, don't really have a desire to, uh, especially after the fourth film. Um, I've heard from some people who say the fifth movie is, um, you know, uh, better than the fourth. But I don't know what how what's that what that says. It's like, uh, I don't think it would be too hard to make a movie uh, better than Home Alone 4, honestly, than the Home Alone series. Um, but Home Alone, you know, has a good family, uh, message with, regarding family, appreciate family and what you have. And um, at the end, they all just take, come together and spend time together and just love and appreciate each other a lot more than they did in the very beginning. And um, it's very chaotic in the very beginning. Um, but, you know, around this time of year, that's very important to essentially everybody, you know. To, then again, you could say that for any time of year, you know, Thanksgiving time, Christmas time, any time really. Um, family is important. It's important to get together and appreciate each other and what you have. 
even if you do have disagreements with each other, you know, at the end, you love each other. Uh, sometimes it's like around this time of year, uh, you just come together. It will be you know, if you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas or uh, Kwanzaa, though I'm not entirely sure um, what Kwanzaa it really is about. Um, I've heard about it, but I've never heard too many details, but, you know, whatever you celebrate this time of year, if anything, uh, I hope you all have a good Christmas. Hope you all have a, a good time, appreciate each other, and spend time with family, spend time with friends. And, uh, yeah, that's really it for this one. Um, you know, just a little over, uh, 10 minutes here, so uh, that's pretty good timing for me. Um, I want to say to you all, have a good day, have a good weekend, and um, I will see you next time. Um, not exactly sure what I'll talk about. I mean, I do have an idea what I would like to talk about, but, you know, with some movies coming out the, the, this weekend, um, perhaps I will say or see a movie and then talk about it by the weekend after thinking about it and enjoying it. Uh, either over the weekend or maybe a uh, day before or so. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what will happen. Um, but I do uh, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good weekend. And again, I'll see you all next time. Bye.